to the A to the A to the R to the A to the R to the Wait, too many. All right, one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and work your body right out. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, and four. R to the A to the R to the a to the, hey all, my name is Rachel, um, but you can simply call me Rach. So I'm coming to you with my first regret. I purchased it, no. Um, so if you have seen my channel before, welcome back. Hello, hey friends. And also, if you're new to my channel, my name is Rachel, um, but you can simply call me Rach. Uh, so I have a preference towards high-end makeup, but I do dibble and dab in different drugstores as well. Uh, so today I'm pick going over a purchase that I made with the Patrick Ta. So I actually ended up picking up the blush, lip, lip crayon, and also the brush. So if you're interested in seeing my final opinions on the Patrick Ta release, uh, definitely stay tuned. And while you're here, if you made it this far, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel because uh, we are a growing family and I have lots of new goodies and videos to premiere uh, in the next upcoming week. So definitely stay tuned for that. So before I talk too much, let's go ahead and get right into it, okay? <laughs> All right, so... I actually already have this blush on. Let's start there. Let's start at I already have this blush on. So can you guess right now which cheek it is on? So if you don't know who Patrick Ta is, he's kind of one of those celebrity makeup artists. He does people like um, like the Gigi, like the Victoria's Secret models. He actually did like the 2016 Victoria's Secret um, runway show. He's done like Kim Kardashian. He's known for this very glow within natural type of makeup look. So that should have been right up my alley, right? Like I love natural, I love glow within. We should be friends. Like this is, I should be a Patrick Ta kind of girl. So I went ahead and I picked up the whole little release that they had and I purposely picked up everything in what looked like to be the deepest shades on the website. So let's start with the blush because that was the biggest disappointment and that's why I just don't know if I can try other things or what I should do or should I take it all back? Should I take one thing back? So after you take a look at the rest of the video, let me know what you would do. Would you return everything? Would you just return the blush? Let me know your opinions. So to put that in the comments down below. So we'll start with the blush. So it actually is already on this cheek. So I knew that it was going to be not pigmented, something you have to build up. This is like three applications of build up on this cheek. So I'm going to apply it again on the other cheek, but first let's take a look at it because the description was mauve, like plum or something mauve purple. It's mauve in the description. So mauve to me is purple. So it should look like this. It should look like this but it should not look like this. This is not mauve. Like when I got it in the mail, I was like, that looks nothing like the picture. The picture looked like it was gonna be deeper and richer and I would have to build it up and it's gonna be purple. Love it. Because I'm actually going to also insert a picture of the blush that I am probably going to be replacing this with. I want a purple blush. I don't know why, I just on a kick right now. And I think it's because of my disappointment in this blush that I am in search of a mauve blush. So I was so excited to get this. So I also picked up, well, we'll start with the good stuff first. So the packaging, I adore the packaging. It is very cute, but I don't wear the packaging. So hmm, enough said. <laughs> and then it was also rose gold packaging, which I enjoyed, has a huge mirror. And then it also had the blush. But look at the color of the blush. That is not mauve or my colorblind or my expectations different. You tell me what you think and if this is mauve down below, because to me, this is not mauve. So also picked up the brush. So it can't be that, because the, the thing, I, I actually love the brush. I'm like, should I, t should I take back the brush? Because I love it so much. Uh, the blush, it was like $32. The brush was right around 35. It has like rose gold, has a good weight to it. And it's also supposed to uh, replicate the look of synthetic brushes. So that's the first application. So you can see it, it's sheer, but it does not, 
And just for makeup wise, the only thing, ooh, I should have blended a little bit better right down here. <laughs> only thing I have on is like some stick foundation that I'll blend this out before I go to Sephora, um, as well as some bronzer. And I didn't even put on concealer. I put on some eyeshadow and some mascara. So I kept it very simple today. So I like the whole concept of this monochrome. And uh, yes, the eyeshadow, it, it's, it's Pat. So her sparkle, this is my, you know, low key. But you can see that it does show some pigment. So I think that maybe some of my sisters that are a little bit more fair skin, they can see it. But on me, it does it does nothing. So let's go ahead and we'll swatch it. Swatches, you can't really pick up much. But yeah, like that's, that's it. So I'm going to dig, dig in and try to do a swatch on my actual arm. And that is what I get. So it is very faint. And I think that even if I turn down the brightness of this, it is still very faint. And I knew that this was gonna be something that I had to build up, but I am just very disappointed um, in the blush because I love the texture. It is very soft. I love the brush and how it applies. But look, that's, this is it. This is building it up. This is just not what I, I wanted. So I'm going to return this and I'm gonna pick up the other blush online. I've already researched the other blush. I was one of the people that picked this up as soon as it released. I actually did not even pick this up during the VIB sale. So the good thing is I'm gonna return this for regular price. I'm gonna be able to pick up another blush with 20% off. So I'll say it as a win but I'm just really disappointed. I actually still want to try um, one of the blushes. I really like the formula, I really like the packaging. I just don't, the color does nothing for me. So I went onto his Instagram page and I saw the picture of this beauty right here. And she has on the soft pink and it actually shows up on her and she's a deeper tone model. So I'm gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna buy the one that I really want that's the mauve because I'm, I'm just in a mauve mode right now because of this situation. And then I'm gonna think about still picking up that blush because I I think that I am going to keep this brush because look at how much give it has. It, do, it does pick up well. Um, the only way that I would replace this, I was on Beautylish and I saw a couple of actual real haired brushes um, that were right around the same price but it's so soft. I really like this. So I'm gonna like not go on a rant. I've been on a rant for like seven minutes about how I do not like the blush or the shade. So let's get into some of the things I did like more. So I also picked up one of the Precision Lip Crayons. So this had the same type of packaging and then it has like the Patrick Ta and also the applicator. So this kind of threw me off too because once you pump it up, you can't pump it back. Um, and then it does do this kind of slanted, which I actually enjoy uh, because it goes on my lips very well. And I got this in the shade She's Bold. I love the names of the products. And I have on concealer on my lip now um, because I knew that I was going to film this video and I'm just gonna run to Sephora, take some of this stuff back and pick up a couple other things because tomorrow is my mother's birthday. Um, so I'm trying to figure out something to pick up for her. So, go ahead and put it on the lip. But once again, it's another product that doesn't do much for me. So let's swatch it. So I don't know, was this intentional? Was this what he was going for? Or was it just not made for me? <laughs> so this is something that I will likely return as well because I have other muted lips that at least do more for me but i like the way it feels it's like sticky like i guess waxy is i guess the way that you would describe it uh but not waxy to the point that it's not it glides across the lips so it's not super creamy but it's it has a little something to it but with the concealer it just does like does like a nude on nude and then you can't twist it back down which is something i don't like so whatever you pump out is what you get I like the packaging. This was probably right around 20 something dollars or so. I can't remember how much this was. I'll put the price right over here. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just, I'm not in love with it. If I don't, I have so much makeup now that if I don't love you, 
I'm gonna return you. So this is like, this is no committed relationship when it comes to subpar makeup. So it's time for us to part ways, Patrick Ta. I'm just really disappointed, like, ugh. I was rooting for you, we were all rooting for you, how dare you? really wanted this to be successful. I purposely picked all the deepest shades from the web from the website and then I get things that still they're they're not they're not gonna work for me still. So what is your deepest shade? Because the model she's so gorgeous. She's really deep or pretty deep. She's you know a sister. But it's like I just they I want her, them to do like multiple looks on her so I can have an idea of something else to try out because right now I am not feeling it. I don't know if I'll pick up anything else. Um, so, but this is something I loved. Uh, this is the Silky Lip Cream, and it has the monocorrected moment, and this is She's Independent. I you know what that means? Something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean. It was a little boosty baby. All right, so this is Gorge. Let me go ahead and put this on. It's almost chocolatey, like mint chocolate is what it smells like. I actually picked up a lip color similar to like this uh, by Beauty Bakery and I did not like the formula sadly and I ended up returning it. So I adore this color. It is a beautiful nude. Uh, so if anything, I will, I will keep the lip product uh, but everything else, it depends on what mood I'm in once I get to Sephora. Hmm. So if you've made it this far, you know what time it is. Ow! Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And if this is your first time seeing it with my channel, thank you so much. And if you see multiple, thank you for returning. It is very important to um, our growing family that you like and subscribe to my, ch my channel. Excuse me, I'm a little stopped up and... <sighs> Okay, sorry, that's a little icky. It's like a little sinus problem. You know when you start turning on the heat towards the winter time and now everything's all a little clogged. So it's nice for me to get out the house, get some coffee, get the juices a flowing, probably pick me up a, a little peppermint mocha or something like that from Starbucks. That'd be a good way to send, spend my Sunday. Uh, but once again, go ahead, like and subscribe to my channel. Welcome back, welcome first times, and share with your friends. And while you're here, you know, you know, if you love me, if you like me, if you kind of like think I'm kind of cute, kind of fun, please go ahead and check out this video or this video, or you just go down below and just watch all the videos. I would not be hurt at all. And I love the love and please share your comments. Would you return everything? Would you keep the lip product? Uh, what would you do if there's only one product from a launch that you bought that you actually enjoyed? All right. So thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>